We're using two strands of yarn together as well as the size N crochet hook or 10 millimeter. And I'm going to show you a small demonstration version. I'm not going to do the full length blanket just so, to give you an idea. Um, this particular pattern is worked in multiples of three stitches. So any three stitches you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want. Just keep chaining every three stitches and then when it gets to the length that you want add two at the very end. So this is our tail and this is our working yarn that's connected to the skeins of yarn. And we're going to take our tail and just place it over creating a loop. And then we're just going to flop this over the working yarn, this big loop. So you can see that your working yarn is behind the big loop. Take your hook and just pull that working yarn up and we're going to pull that down tight. That's your slip knot. For the blanket that I've made that you can see in the pictures, I did a chain of 84 and then I added two for the first chain. So begin chaining. This is the first one on your hook. So that's two, three, so I've chained 21 and then I added two. This is just a short chain to demonstrate. Like I said, um, you'll want to chain at least 84 for a baby blanket and then add two, so a total of 86. So then we're going to go, this is our loop on our hook, we're going to go into the very next one and we're going to single crochet. So go in and find your space single crochet in the first stitch. Now in the same stitch we're going to do two double crochets. That's wrapping our yarn so that we have three loops. Wrapping, pulling through two, wrapping, pulling through two. Again wrapping your yarn going into the same stitch, pulling up a loop, wrapping, going through two, wrapping, going through two. Now we're going to skip two. So one, two, we're going to go into this one and use single crochet and two double crochets all in the same stitch. And that's the pattern. It's really, really simple. Skipping two, so that's one, two, I'm going to go into this one, single crochet, two double crochets. Again, skipping two. single crochet, two double crochets. Skipping two, going into this one. So I'm going to have one stitch left over when I'm finished with this single crochet, two double crochets in the same stitch. And you'll see when we complete the next row, it really starts to puff. And then just single crochet in the end. That's how you always finish the end. You just single crochet, chain two, and turn. Now in this row, we're going to go into this space here. This is our single crochet, basically. So it's really easy to find your stitches and you don't really have to count. So you just start by single crochet, two double crochet in the same stitch. You see how that makes that puff up when you do this second row? So now we're into our next single crochet stitch and you're going to do a single crochet 
in that one. That was our old original single crochet. And then do two doubles. And then here's our next one. Got one more. And now I'm just going to choose a spot here on the very, very end. I'm going to single crochet that and I'm going to chain two and turn. Once again, the same thing over and over for as large as you'd like the blanket. Just single crochet, two double crochet. 